Final Builder works in the concept of project. So I can create a project here in Final Builder. You start first with the project information. Then you have the concept of action list where you organize all of the actions you are going to have in your project. For example, I can have an action list that only compile my projects. I can have another action that generate the documentation, another action that test actions, for example. So to create it's very simple, just right clicking action list and use the test actions. I also have a lot of variables here. As you can see in this release, we have variables related with the C++ Builder XZ2, path of the final builder project, where is my Delphi XZ, where is the Delphi XZ2 OS X libraries, windows, program files. I also have access to the environment variables. And if you wanna, you can start creating new variables. If you wanna check out all of your projects, you have here uh, virtual control, subversion. You had all kinds of actions like check out project, clean up, commit, uh, everything. You have a number of different actions here that you're gonna use create your process. So the most common is going to be compile the application. So in order to compile, you see here integration with Delphi, C++. So in the case of Delphi, if you want to add some action that's going to compile for Delphi, just click here, select your project. In this case, I have this project, for example. You can switch to the platform here. You don't need to change the, this option on the original project. So you can have the projects here in Final Builder and change the project options independently of, of your development environment. The project options here like compiler, links, folders, where you're gonna generate the output files. In order to show you a real project, I have here my date snap automation project. And there is a lot of actions here. I organized my project based on one single action list. The first thing I did on this project was create a variable. And I create this variable because that's where is located my, my project. And also I create another variable, which is platform. And this variable I can use Win32, Win64, because I'm going to sometimes compile the project for 32 bits and sometimes for 64. So the user variable, let's see how I start this project here. First, I started with this action, which is a created directory. In case my directory doesn't exist, I'm going to create and I force that here. After that, I'm going to check out my project. I'm using a subversion checkout option here and I pass where I'm, the, is my working folder and where is my, my project. I have an option here to enable disable every single action. In this case, I'm keeping this, I disable this subversion checkout because I already checked out the project. I'm not going to do this again. Also, I need to create this directory under the, my main directory. I need to create output in DCU. This folder is required because all of my DCUs is gonna be generated in this folder. Then I created this compile all our projects folder. You just need to select the actions you wanna and use the refactor here to, to wrap the actions you select as action group and then he's gonna create this group. The first, first thing I'm doing here, I'm calling this process.exe, which is a program that's gonna kill my date snap server. So I just wanna make sure the date snap server is not running at this point because I need to recompile him again. Then I use this execute program action. After that, I create a if else a condition here. So if my the platform variables win32, so I'm going to compile my date snap server project to win32. I can pick the platform here. So I choose win32 in 64. If not, I have an else here. The only difference is I'm created for Win64. The next step is to compile the date snap clients. So in this case, again, I have here for Win32, I mean compile the date snap client in Delphi, in FireMonkey, we're using Delphi and the unit test as well using the Win32 platform here. When I run the unit test, I use the, the UI. Since the project is automated, 
I don't have somebody to press the play button and run the unit test. Here, I change this conditional, and I said I'm using the console test running. So I'm compile this project, but as a console, and he's going to run automatically. So the else condition, I have the same projects. So in case I pick Win32, it's going to run these options, three actions here. If I pick Win64, it's going to run these three options here. The next step is to compile my Prisma project. Since there is no uh, integration, in this case, like we have for Delphi, we use the MS build option here. All of the options are going to be under the MS build. If you want to change something, you have to set the property for the MS build project here. I have the same for C builder, which is in this case, I'm compile C project as Win32. I can compile as OSX as well. And after that, I'm going to create the Algit Sync matrix for this project. So in this case, I have to copy some files from the final builder folder to the Delphi DateSnap server directory. And then I use the command line to run the LGC matrix. The command line is here. It's uh, this file. It's part of the Delphi. And you can run the LGC matrix not only from the IDE, but through command line. And then I pass here the parameters. The same happened with the LGC here. The next step generate the documentation and then I use the doc generator through command line. And after that, we run the unit test. In order to run the unit test, I need to run first the date snap server that was generated before. And I also have to run the unit test. And at the end, I have here the final step action group. I execute the process again to kill the date snap server. I export the results as HTML and I do a shell execute here to open the HTML file. In this case, it's going to open the browser. But in general, when you have a build automated process, you send an email, right? So in this case, I have an option here, send email, and I can attach file. So after you create the list of actions, you can execute each action, like run selected action here, and he's going to like check the directory is created. I can compile my project as Win32 in this case. As you can see, you have this timer here. It's running the, the action. So what I want to do here is run all of the process at once. So you just hit the run button and you will see Final Builder execute each action and tell you the stats for each action. In this case, since I'm compiling for 32 bits, so he skipped that compilation for 64 bits here on the server side. The same will happen on this group act the action here because my platform variable it's defined as Win32. I have my Prisma date snap client compiled. Final builder is executing the doc generation for the server. It's now creating the documentation for the Delphi application. And the next step is going to be run the server and run the unit test. That's one of my tests open the notepad. So everything has been executed and the final result is the action to open the HTML file. And here you have the results. You have the status as a completed doesn't mean everything works well. For example, on the unit test, you have to come here and take a look in the log, and you can see that one of my unit tests had the error, which is the test add user method, and this is a primary key error, which in this case is fine, okay? But you see that all of the actions has been executed and at the end you have to analyze and take a look in the log and see if there is any problem on your application. If I want to compile this application as Win64, I just change the variable for 64 bits and run again the, the application. And now what we see is the steps for Win32 skip it here in, on this automated process here. And there we go. So I have here a date snap server now running, the unit test done, and final builder finish the 
the 64-bit version of my automated process. When you are looking for continuous integration, I think Final Builder is a great start. They have a server version. The Final Builder server is definitely the, the, the next step to help you to create a continuous integration process inside the organization. 